Welcome everyone. My name is Maninder Singh Sambi. I'm a vice president uh, for cloud networking here at Google Cloud. We are super excited to be extending cross cloud network to the enterprise with Cloud Van. As we have talked about, Cloud Van is a fully managed, globally available, reliable Van solution. It's built on our performance optimized network, provides built in security. But we can't do it alone. We have to be able to integrate with the best of breed ISV ecosystem, for which Today I have Sanjay Upal, who's joining us, SVP GM for Velo Cloud Division at Broadcom. Welcome Sanjay, it's a pleasure having you here. Thank you, Manander. Let me first start with, like you've been around the industry for a very long time, Sanjay, and we are at a very unique spot. We like to call this like the AI era. Right. It'll be good for the audience here to actually understand your perspective of how technology has evolved and what you see that's coming in the future that enterprises do need to take care of or think about from a networking perspective? Yeah, so we formed VeloCloud over 10 years ago, and the purpose and mission of VeloCloud was to connect an increasingly complex set of endpoints, data at the edge, campuses, branches together in the most secure and efficient way possible. And that was more than 10 years ago. Then VeloCloud got acquired by VMware, VMware got acquired by Broadcom, but through all of that, we've just kept our mission to be able to get that connectivity done in the most secure and efficient fashion. And this is what brings us to the conversation that we are having today with Muninder and Google Cloud. Thank you, Sanjay. Um, so one of the things, Sanjay, that our audiences always look around is the market has evolved from 10 years ago when probably when Velo Cloud started. If you can just share how you see that market evolving, especially traffic patterns that are becoming much more cloud apps or SaaS app consumption. From your perspective, where do you see that market and how is it going to even evolve further? Right. So the bedrock of what we formed first was SD-WAN, which was software-defined WAN. Now, the market was about connecting this increasingly complex set of endpoints. But what has happened since then is that the application landscape has shifted dramatically. Well, firstly, applications moved to the cloud. After that, security became really important. So from SD-WAN, SASE becomes important. SASE comprises the security services edge. But what is going on right now is the most dramatic shift that you and I have seen, which is that applications themselves are moving and becoming very different from the applications that they used to be before. The traffic patterns are a lot more upstream than they were downstream. It's a lot more multi-modality going on, much more video as well as audio that is happening. And all of this means that there's a lot of pressure on enterprises, not only to get their applications really secure, but also to get them completely optimized so that their users, including their partner users, and then even non-human users, like agents and robots and manufacturing machines, can all use this network in the most efficient and secure manner possible. Now, when we think about these trends and becoming cloud native, being able to do Gen AI applications, uh, every customer wants a networking strategy, mm -hmm. along with their data application and, and storage strategy. They want to have a networking strategy. Networking cannot be an afterthought. We span over 42 regions now. We'll be at 202 edge locations with roughly cutting, cutting across 200 plus countries and territories. Not only providing reliability, providing low latency and built-in security like, like I talked about. Uh, as you know, we've made a lot of investments to get that global scale with our 2 million miles of fiber with 33 subsea cables that we have and one of the best uh, pairing for both ISPs and SaaS applications. But now coming back, like we, if we build the global cloud van, uh, there's obviously the notion of how do I get SD-WAN value and be able to bring the traffic into the cloud and obviously apply SASE securities along the way. Can you just explain to our user or to our viewers here, what does SD-WAN play a role? What are you envisioning? And plus, we also talked about like Gen AI applications. How does these Gen AI applications, the value that SD-WAN and SASE will provide for the Gen AI applications? Right. So, you know, you've built a really tremendous network. Now, one of the things that we do with this network is we hide the complexity of the underlay, meaning that it doesn't really matter if it is a particular MPLS connection or if it is broadband or one of the new underlays like 5G or LEOS, because we have an overlay network. That's what VeloCloud SD-WAN provides. This overlay hides the complexity of the underlay, but it's not enough to only hide the complexity of the underlay to the first point of presence. We have to get it to where the applications are. The applications primarily sit in the cloud, they sit in intermediate data points, and they sit all the way at the edge. So what Google Cloud, the network allows us to do with all your 
uh, expanse that you've, you've deployed is not just get us to those points of presence, but then get a low latency hop to where the applications are. And this is the use for SD-WAN, but it goes beyond that because of the security angle. So we bring in our SSE stack, which also runs in the Google Cloud. And that SSE stack then encrypts and provides the security that is needed for all these applications. And the last piece of which, the most exciting, is what we're doing with Velo Rain, which is our robust AI networking architecture. Now that Velo Rain takes all the data that we, that we have been collecting over the more than half a million edges that we've deployed, but that Velo Rain data has got to go into a model that is trained with the information that we've been collecting. And this is where Google comes in again. So Google Gemini, along with the Vertex AI stack that we have, we've used this to train a piece of Velo Rain that we actually call Velo Brain. Why? Wow. Because there's a brain of a network system engineer that we ship with every one of our Velo Cloud deployments. So you can see how this interaction and how this relationship between what we bring from a last mile optimization security standpoint attaches to what Google Cloud brings and then Gemini with Vertex AI that allows us together to serve the needs of our enterprise. Can you share like what type of use cases are you really solving that has resonated with customers? And I'm sure our viewers here would love to learn about uh, those use cases. Absolutely, so you know, let me just share one thing. We've been talking about how upstream traffic is becoming a lot more. Here's a pair of smart glasses. Now, you know, with these smart glasses, there's video going in the upstream direction and there's only audio in the downstream. So these glasses, when I put them on, I can ask, you know, what am I watching? Now there's a hundred times more data going in the upstream direction than in the downstream direction. But if the person wearing these glasses doesn't get an answer in time, then these glasses are not gonna be very useful. So this has a massive implication on what we just discussed. Not only do you have to identify the application that the wearer is using, but you've also then got to be able to get that traffic, both secured and optimized from the glasses to the Velo Cloud edge point, from there over the network to the Google point of presence, to where the LLM is running, and all of this, all of this to be optimized. So this is one you know, fairly st standard application today. It wasn't so two years ago. But we're seeing this not just from a consumer standpoint, we're seeing this across the board in vertical industries, healthcare, manufacturing, finance, retail, and this is gonna be the class of new applications that we can both optimize and secure together. Is agentic networking gonna be the next phase of SD-WAN and SASE? You know what, Muninder, agentic is here today. In fact, VeloBrain uses AI agents along with Google and Vertex AI. Wow. So we've made VeloBrain into an agentic system. But more importantly, Agentic is what we're finding as the new substrate for all of the application development going forward. Of course, there's a lot of agentic frameworks that are available today, but we're at the cusp of how these agents are becoming distributed. And when they become distributed, when all the agents are not sitting in one network, in one computer, but they're distributed across the network, that's when the magic of SD-WAN, SASE, Google Cloud Platform, VeloBrain, all of that together means that now it's a collection of agents talking in real time across a network secure fashion, segments that are running across the network, Velo Brain to help you figure out when something goes wrong. I couldn't be more excited about this next phase of what we're doing together. Yes, it's super exciting to be in networking, I can say. Um, so I think one last question that I have, I'm sure our viewers are, with our tight integration partnership that we have, what can our customers expect, both from by using and consuming Google Cloud WAN and the set of services that Velo and Broadcom brings with SD-WAN, SASE, and some of the agentic networking capabilities that you talked about. Right, so I think the first thing together is that we have global scale because of your points of presence that are across the world with the stacks that we have deployed both for SD-WAN as well as SASE at those points of presence, a customer that may be only a small customer that is local, but also could be a multinational customer with branches across the entire world, they can expect that global presence from us. The second is because of the engineering that we've done together, both from the endpoints all the way into where the application is, they can expect low latency. Low latency is the currency going forward for all of these types of applications. And the third piece that people can expect from us together is total cost of ownership is going down. And it's not just because you can replace some very expensive networking with less expensive networking, but it takes much less to run these systems now because of the engineering, because of the automation, because of uh, agentic, than it used to before. In fact, in some cases, 10 times less. Thank you, Sanjay, for your insights. 
as our viewers, you saw, you heard from Sanjay Upal, uh, SVP GM at Velo Cloud. Uh, between Cloud Van as well as the capabilities that Velo as well as Broadcom is bringing, we are now able to provide the best networking infrastructure, not just for your cloud SaaS applications, but also be ready for that AI transformation that's happening in every enterprise. Thank you for watching. Thank you.